Hey IEEE Young Professionals, my name is Mario and I'm standing here uh, with my friends Rafal and Flavia at Web Summit. It's day three and as you know we've been recapping and summarizing all the great things that we've been seeing at the Web Summit here in Dublin, Ireland. In from Everything from great technology talks to startups and, and new technologies that startups are bringing to the market and you know there's so many young people here it's incredible. Flavia, wh what is your perception of Web Summit and tell me you know is it important for young people to actually be here? Well, for the past three days, we've seen it all. We've seen uh, software being developed for banking, for uh, businesses. We've seen new medical technologies. We've seen uh, security, 3D printing, literally anything you can possibly imagine. And I think it's a great opportunity for young people to be here because it really gives you a feel of what's going on in a global scene. We've spoken with people from all over the world, and this is an invaluable thing. So clearly entrepreneurship for young is, is taking the world by storm. Um, you know, we're, most of the startups here are, are, are being run by, by the younger generation. Rafal, do you think it's important for our IEEE Young Professional members to get involved with entrepreneurship and take that, that plunge to start their own companies and build their own technologies? That's their chance, and absolutely you are, Mario, right. This event, this place is giving them amazing chance to actually show what they can do and find investors that actually will be interested in their ideas. Right, and in terms of the IEEE, I mean, does the IEEE need to have a presence at Web Summit and other large global events like this? I think it's a must. Currently, IEEE needs higher visibility among young people, among members, and that's play, this place is amazing. Basically, IEEE must be here. Perfect, perfect. And, you know, Flavia, looking around at some of the startups, we're, we've been talking to a lot of people, and many of these startups are not being run by engineers. They're being run by, you know, people with business backgrounds or marketing backgrounds. And so, you know, many of the, these companies are looking for, for technical talent. They're looking to bring in uh, engineers or, or computer programmers, the developers, to help them actually build out their products. Um, do you think it's important for, for these folks who are non-engineers, non from non-technical backgrounds, to join the IEEE and get involved? Um, I think it would be great because, sure, people with a tech background are the base of everything that we have seen here. Without them, none of this would be possible. But I think that people with a non-tech background, like marketing, uh, business, um, anything from that area can actually help because you need to make sure that those technologies are usable and people will adopt them and I think that would really help uh, also with IEEE's aim of helping humanity and improving people's lives through technology by working together to really see these things happen and become real in the world and um, I think it would definitely be great if we would open up more to the non-tech people and it would definitely be useful. You know, I think you're spot on when you just said that's what it takes to, to bring these technologies to the world, you know. It's not just about engineering, but it's about bringing all those disciplines together to make the products come to life. So thank you, Rafal and Flavia, for sharing your, your insights here about Web Summit. And uh, uh, stay tuned for our, to our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got a lot of great updates coming toward, uh, to you. So IEEE Young Professionals signing out from Web Summit at Dublin 2015.